There was a recent article on the electric titled Ford shares more details of how its F-150 Lightning can replace the need for a Tesla Powerwall or loud and dirty generator. So is this true? Can the Ford F-150 electric pickup truck actually replace a Tesla Powerwall? Well, here's what I think. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia, and my name is Sam Evans. To those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. Everyone else, welcome back. Big shout out to our Patreon supporters. Appreciate what you do. And I'll put a link in the description below if you want to help out the channel, that would be great. Obviously, the point of the channel is to spread the mission, spread the word of renewable energy, electric cars, and just to try and make that happen faster globally. The quicker it happens, the better off we all are. So the Electric's article says, as Ford Motor Company approaches first deliveries of its electric F-150 Lightning this spring, it has shared new details regarding how future owners will soon be able to power their homes using the truck as a backup generator. Through a new partnership with Sunrun, F-150 Lightning customers will soon have a number of energy management solutions at their disposal through Ford or existing equipment. In May 2021, Ford unveiled an all-electric version of its F-Series pickup truck, the F-150 Lightning. And I spoke about that in a few different videos where I reviewed it. I actually think that GM, Silverado, and Tesla's Cybertruck are going to be better. So if you have the choice, I mean, we don't have a whole lot of choice, do we, considering the enormous pre-orders that all three brands have for all of their vehicles. So apparently, GM has more than 110,000, Ford has more than 200,000, and Tesla has more than 1.3 million pre-orders. So yeah, if you haven't already signed up, good luck getting one within the next couple of years. But anyway, in December 2021, Ford had over 200,000 reservations, leading the automaker to double its electric pickup production capacity, not once, but twice. Obviously, they've been watching the Electric Viking when I told them that they had to do that. Listening to me, isn't it great? I'm just joking, by the way. Of course, they don't watch this channel. Ford doesn't listen to anyone about themselves. But anyway, when the Electric got its first close-up look at Ford's F-150 Lightning last May, one of the most exciting features we learned about was the pickup's ability to act as its own generator. I've got to say, I love this. It's great for the work site. Now, this means you can power tools on your work site. You can work it as a backup generator for your home. You can use it when you're camping to power your stove or lights or anything else that you need. It's awesome. Ford's Intelligent Backup Power offers Lightning owners the ability to offload 9.6 kilowatt of power, alleviating the need for gas generators while keeping the lights on and powering home appliances, security systems, etc. during any sort of outage or from your main electrical panel. And not just for a few hours, but a few days. I mean, realistically, if the battery pack was full, you could probably run the average house for, you know, if you weren't using too much power, for probably two weeks, I reckon. I've been going on and on how I love this kind of technology. Imagine when every single vehicle on the road, every bus, every truck, every car, every vehicle you can imagine has a battery in it. Imagine how much energy storage we'll have. And with the ability now to get solar to power all these things, there's going to be so much free energy that people are going to be harvesting. It's amazing. The amount of energy we can currently harvest from the sun. We could get enough energy in one day to power the entire world for a year if we had enough solar panels and enough batteries which will eventually happen. Since then, we have seen the Lightning's bi-directional charging capabilities in action, replenishing other EVs at level two speeds. We've also learned of the automaker's new holistic charging system called Ford Pro Charging that caters to fleet customers charging at depots and at their homes. As the F-150 Lightning approaches first deliveries in March, so what, we're only two months away, Ford has shared further details on how its intelligent backup power will work and what infrastructural hardware will be available to customers. So like we mentioned before, Ford's F-150 Lightning can act as a clean energy generator. And when you think about it, if you have solar panels on your house and your truck is at home, whenever that's the case, you could plug in your truck to your solar panels and recharge your vehicle free of charge. That's huge. The automaker, Ford, shared new details of its intelligent backup power system alongside news of a new partnership with Sunrun, the largest solar company in the US. Sunrun is now the preferred installer of Ford's home charging solutions for the F-150 Lightning 
and it will also offer truck customers the opportunity to install solar arrays where available. Ford Charging and Energy Services Director Matt Stover spoke on the partnership. This is what he said. F-150 Lightning brings new innovations to customers, including the ability to power their homes when they need it most. Teaming up with Sunrun leverages their expertise to bring solar power to even more customers, giving them the chance to turn their truck into an incredible energy storage source. And future truck features can help accelerate the development of less carbon intensive grids. I think realistically, grids could eventually disappear. That's a possibility. I'm talking 20, 30 years away, but I think there's a good chance that we won't need the grid or we might have microgrids eventually. To take advantage of Ford's intelligent backup power, F-150 Lightning customers will need both the Ford Station Pro, the Ford Charge Station Pro, and the Home Integration System. The latter was developed alongside Sunrun and is comprised of a power inverter, a dark start battery, and a transfer switch to enable the bi-directional flow of power in the home. Ford Intelligent Backup Power, combined with home integration systems, allows your F-150 Lightning to automatically kick in like a generator to power your home if the grid goes down. When power is eventually restored, the system automatically reverts back to utility power. Now, consumers who purchase a Ford F-150 Lightning with the extended battery pack will automatically receive the 80 amp Ford Charge Station Pro delivered to their home and Sunrun will reach out to assist with installation. I love this idea, fantastic. However, those extended range customers will need to purchase the home integration kit. No word yet on what the cost of that is, by the way. If you didn't reserve your F-150 Lightning with the extended range battery, you should have. No, don't sweat, they say. Standard range customers will still can still upgrade to Ford's intelligent backup power by purchasing the Charge Station Pro and Home Integration System separately and paying an activation fee. Don't know what that fee is yet, by the way. According to Ford, an F-150 Lightning with the extended range battery can power a home for up to three days based on the energy use of an average US home, 30 kilowatt hours per day. That's a lot. That's a lot of power per day. If you're using that much power per day, then wow. Yeah, I think, you know, if you need to power your home, because your power's gone out, then maybe just decrease your consumption a little bit so you use 10 kilowatt hours a day. That's more than enough. Anyway, if a customer rations their home's energy and utilizes solar power, that number could increase up to more than 10 days. The home integration system can connect to your electric vehicle, your solar array, and two stationary storage devices. Customers are encouraged to use Sunrun as Ford's official installer to determine the best route for home charging installation, whether it's with existing equipment, like a Tesla Powerwall or a new Ford Station Pro. So Ford's charging solutions won't work with 100% of third-party devices, as in they don't work with third-party devices, period. But they can work with some of them. Sunrun says it's best to consult a licensed electrician to determine which solution will work best for your home. Now, the electric asked if asked Ford if F-150 Lightning owners could simply run a 240 volt generator cable from the 7.6 kilowatt 240 volt outlet in the truck bed to an already existing generator port, which many homes already have. They said that was uncertain, though it should be able to do this. While it won't work automatically, this would be a popular bespoke method of powering the home, even without all the home integration kit and Sunrun costs. So you might be able to avoid those costs if you already have that port at your house. Ford has stated the F-150 Lightning customers interested in combining Ford Charge Station Pro installation with solar power may be eligible to put less money down and see reduced installation pricing. A lot of this is stuff is up in the air, so we're not too sure yet on the pricing. But anyway, here's my key point. Okay, first of all, we're not at the end of innovation of EVs and those related systems. It's, it is exciting to see Ford push this and enter this market which will provide some competition and it will make it more likely that other companies, other EV companies will provide similar solutions in order to match the solutions, match the services that Ford are offering. That's the great news here. However, if you think that this can replace a power wall, I don't think that's really what it's intended as. And I think you might be missing the point of a power wall. Well, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a power wall. You could be using BYD has a solution that's similar to a power wall. Other companies have them as well. But I'll just say power wall so you understand what I'm saying. 
Now, the main purpose of a Tesla Powerwall is to store excess electricity from your solar panels during the times when you're not using a lot of electricity, as in you're away from your home with your truck, which could be five, six days a week, depending on what you do. This means that if you want your truck to replace your power wall, you would have to park it in your garage while it is recharging from your excess electricity and you can't use it. You can't drive, obviously. The supply of electricity from power wall during blackouts is really a secondary feature and you can still tap electricity from your electric car or truck. Yes, you can use though a Nissan Leaf, a Chevy Volt and all Tesla models to supply your house with, ele with electricity using third-party hacks. So you can speak to people online and electricians and people in this industry, in the renewable energy industry, they'll, they'll explain to you how you can actually do this. So the reality is that this isn't a feature exclusive to Ford, but it can void your warranty, depending on if you care about that or if that's gonna be an issue for you. My key point here would be to say though, if you have an NCA or NCM chemistry battery, which this Ford vehicle does have, I'm not so sure this is the perfect solution if you want to get the best life out of your vehicle battery. Now Ford is missing the point when it claims that they can replace the Tesla Powerwall with your truck, as you can't use the truck when you need it most. However, there's going to be a lot of crashes. A lot of people will crash these trucks, the vehicles will be written off, but then what do they do? They're going to be able to use these enormous battery packs. That's the good news. The other thing is, at the end of the vehicle's life, the vehicle might be wrecked after say 500,000 Ks, you know, you might need to replace the suspension and it's just not worth doing it. So you'll be able to use a lot of these vehicles as basically massive Tesla power walls or massive power walls, whatever, you know, massive energy storage devices. That's the other awesome news. The other thing is realistically, you're not gonna be driving your truck all the time. So whenever you're at home, yes, you can plug it in. In some sense, that is then gonna be acting as a power wall, of course. The only thing I would say in terms of charging your house with your Ford truck or your General Motors truck or your Rivian truck is that none of them use LFP batteries. That to me means they're not really ideal as an energy storage solution. You're better off powering a house or using your batteries that frequently if they're LFP batteries because you can charge recharge LFP batteries on average two to three times more. They on average have two to three times more cycle life than an NCA or NCM chemistry battery, meaning you could potentially use a vehicle as an energy storage device or an energy giving device for 40, 50 years if it has LFP chemistry. Not quite the same for NCA and NCM chemistries where obviously they have a much more finite number of cycles for their lifetime. And obviously the other thing is, the more times you use your battery, the more cycles you go through, but also, it reduces your battery's capacity. Eventually, that's just what happens. BYD currently give you a 500,000 kilometer warranty on their LFP batteries. But that warranty includes the fact that at 500,000 kilometers, they guarantee a minimum of 60% original capacity. There are no companies that I know of right now that don't that sell vehicles with NCA or NCM chemistry batteries, which will give you a warranty anywhere near that. And the reason for that is they simply aren't capable of providing as many cycles. So my advice would be to you, if you are gonna be using batteries regularly for your house, for storage and for generation, best solution really is to have LFP batteries in terms of actually getting the most value for money. That said though, honestly, it is an awesome feature. You're not gonna use it all the time, are you? If your power goes out of your house, it doesn't happen often usually for most people. So definitely it would actually serve that purpose really, really well in terms of giving you power when you need it for those occasional times when the power goes out. That's the good news. The other good news is eventually all vehicles will have batteries in them and we'll have so much choice in terms of how we get power when we need it. And so much choice in terms of just getting rid of these, these massive energy companies that are probably using coal or using whatever they're using, burning some sort of gas, fossil fuels in order to provide you with power. You can just get around them, stop using it in a way that's cost effective and may not cost you really anything. I mean, solar is very, very cheap now. And if you have a car, you need a vehicle, right? Might as well have one with a battery. Thanks for watching the channel. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.